Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Zero Studio and today I'm going to be doing a subscriber requested video. I'm going to be showing you how to get 60 FPS on NVIDIA graphic cards with GeForce Experience. So hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel, sit back, relax, get your knickers out of a twist and let's just dive into it shall we. Now, GeForce Experience is a program by NVIDIA built specifically for NVIDIA graphic cards. And what it does is it makes sure that all your games are optimized to run perfectly for your hardware. So to get it, you go to the link in the description down below. Click download now. Click save file. Then go to your downloads folder. Double click on the application NVIDIA GeForce. Click yes. And then click agree and install. Then when GeForce Experience opens, you're going to need to either make an account or log in with Facebook or Google or any of these if they are available in your country. I use WeChat. And once you've logged in, make sure that the tick is on for automatically optimizing newly added games. It says seven games is found, so it will scan your system for games. Click skip and there are all the games installed in my machine. And as you can see, none of them are optimized at this moment. So to find your games, you click on the three dots in the top right corner and click scan for games. And it'll find all my games. And there we go. Ghost Recon Breakpoint has been added. That wasn't there before. And if a game that you own doesn't appear here, then it's really easy to fix. You can just go to the cog here for the settings section. Click that. And it will show you the games that have been found, nine games found. You can view a list of all the supported games by going to the GeForce Experience website, going down, scrolling all the way down to the bit where it says supported games. And here it will show you a list of every games in A to Z. So if there's a game that isn't showing up, you can check here to see if it is supported. Most AAA games are these days, which are the ones that you're going to be struggling with graphically. Or you can find the location of the game and add it to the scan location. So I've got so I've got it set to C program files, program x86, and the games, which is where I keep most of my games. Click add and find a folder where the game is installed and click select folder. And it will add it to here. And next time when you scan it, if you scan it again, the game will appear. Now to optimize the game, if it has a green tick, it has been optimized. If it has a exclamation point or anything else then it hasn't been optimized so what's the game find the game and click details on it so here we'll go for gta san andreas click details and then in this bottom bit here we'll show you the current settings that are being used and what are the optimal settings for your system now this will focus on both performance and graphical quality so it will get you 30 to 60 frames per second at the highest possible graphical quality for your system if you want to change that you can click on this little spanner icon here and it will bring up a new menu you can click on the resolution and it will tell you the recommended resolution for your system the display mode so sometimes they have full screen borderless windowless and windows tell you the recommended one for your system here and in this section there is this little bar that says performance to quality so this is high quality the better quality from performance over graphical quality then you can move this green bar to either the middle or right to the very end and that will focus on getting more frames out of your games if you want more frames out of your games then scroll it down to the performance section and you'll get less graphical quality and more performance in your game so all the hard work and all the guesswork is pretty much done for you by nvidia this is the optimal section where it has optimal there and click apply and then that will apply that to your game so let's take a look at a more graphically intensive game let's go with say Watch Dogs 2 Click details here. And as you see my current settings, I use SS, SSAO instead of HBAO. All the things that you don't really want to be worrying about. So now I currently have it on very high when it says here ultra is best. But if I click here, in the middle is the optimum quality and performance. So I'll get around 60 frames per second with the absolute best graphical quality available for my system. If I want to get more performance, if the frames are running a bit low, I just drag this slider around until I get what is perfect for me. I'm going to stick with the optimal for now. Click apply. 
There we go, Watch Dogs 2 has been optimized. Another few features of GeForce Experience which are great are you can download all your drivers here, so every time you launch it up, you can check for updates. Also in the settings experience of GeForce Experience has the details of your rig here, so you can find out which graphics card you have, which processor you have, and things like that, if you don't already know. It can tell you which features you can use with your graphics card and which ones are ready to use. For example, I have game optimization, game stream, which means I can stream my games to the NVIDIA Shield if I have it, uh, an in-game overlay, overlay, which allows me to easily record videos, take screenshots and in-game photographs, play cooperatively or broadcast my gameplay. I'll show you that in a second. Freestyle, which is to apply custom filters on games while I play, which is a relatively new feature. Ansel, which allows me to take amazing in-game photographs of my gameplay and lets you know if you have virtual reality ready. So if your PC or laptop is capable of virtual reality, it tells you here. Now, if you want to stream your games or save clips, you can go to the settings here. And this will bring up the GeForce Experience overlay, or you can press Alt-Z. Alt-Z anytime will bring this menu up. It's a fantastic feature which allows you to take screenshots and tells you the shortcut for it, which is Alt-F1 here. Allows you to go into photo mode, or you can add a game filter. Turn Instant Replay on by pressing Alt, Shift, and F10, which means while you're playing your game, it will save the last five minutes of gameplay, and you can save that at any time by pressing Alt, F10. And you can change the various settings here so you can get the frame rate, the resolution, and the different quality settings. Start recording video, or you can do it by pressing Alt F9 and broadcasting live to Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook. You can change the settings here. So the bitrate of the video, resolution, which for Facebook is only 720, Twitch and YouTube both have 1080p. So there are plenty of settings here for you to mess around with. Now, if you want to record your desktop, you're going to need to go to the privacy control section and click where it says desktop capture. It lets you capture the entire desktop when using instant replay, record, broadcast live, and when taking a screenshot. Without this on when you're recording or live streaming, if you get, if the game closes or crashes, it will just instantly cut out because you don't haven't given access to your desktop. And that's it for this video. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to play some games with us, then please consider joining our community. It, the Discord is in the description. At the end of this month, I'm going to be giving away a £10 Steam gift voucher, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. And as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Cherry Studio and today I'm doing a subscriber requested video. I'm going to be showing you how to get 60 FPS using GeForce Experience with NVIDIA graphics cards. So hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Sit back, relax, get your nick. <coughs> Got some cocos. <coughs> Nickers out of a twist and just dive into it, shall we? Put that as a blooper at the end.